Whiskey tonight on that, ain't I? What's up? I will go ahead and uh, take up my Battle Wrath stance again and okay. attack that Eater of Knowledge that I am next to. Sounds like a winner to me. Attack away. Tw oh, man. You crushed this guy. You did 14 damage. You opened up a gaping wound on his back, on his back shoulder area, and he is definitely bloodied. Nice shot, so go ahead and give me your uh, save to end immobilization. Just a plain D20, Dirt. And next up is Lormar. What are you doing? Five. You are still immobilized. Um, looking at the Tief thing, what is... Is he... What is he doing? Uh, actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I forgot to add him to the uh, the tracker, so that's fine. It works out anyway. Uh, it looks like he's he's casting. So it's your turn, sir. You are able to go. Can I tell what he's casting or anything? Uh, it looks like uh, some kind of arcanic, arcanic uh, spell. So it looks malicious. It, it definitely it, he de doesn't. It doesn't look like he's going to heal you. You don't see any kind of radiant <laughs> energy. <laughs> okay, I'll move up to him and attack him then. Okay. Uh, actually, it looks like he he could be charging up uh, some kind of lightning spell because you can see sparks of uh, lightning energy coming off of his hand and, and out of his spell book as well. And actually, uh, he's got his spell book attached to his staff and he has a, a beautiful staff. And even on the staff, there's like lightning swirling around the head of it. Is he telegraphing anything on the ground? The uh, steel to no. the red. Yeah, he is not. That's a good, very observant to get out of the red circles and cones and everything. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dave, as a free action, can I yell to him, please kill him so I don't have to say his name anymore? Sure, whenever you uh, whenever you <laughs> get to uh, your turn. A double OG, thank don't you for the follow. Him. Lock him out. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and do your attack roll there, Mr. Uh, Lormar. Okay, sorry, I forgot what my abilities were. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use Resurgent Sun. Okay. Haven't played in a month. Your abilities are smashing you. <laughs> Big difference from 5th edition to 4th edition, huh, Lormar? All yeah. these other rules and everything. 19 versus armor class is a miss, unfortunately, Lormar. Okay, the effect still goes off, though, right? If I remember correctly? Sure, it does, mm-hmm. Okay, Arvel Dill, you can take a heal if you need. Sure, why not? Alright. And that's it. Okay. And, uh, you know, those curtains, they do, uh, as you were moving them over, you know, just sort of like a little... They're actually pretty cool. They would look nice in your in your home, back in the forest there, Bay. Uh, the, the curtains depict a grassy field beneath a starry sky, sort of like what was in uh, on the handout there, with oh, a full wow. moon shining bright and red upon the horizon. And I'll, I'll show you guys that handout again here in just a uh, in a few seconds or a few minutes. All right, Lorimar, that's it for you. Uh, looks like our we have another. Looks like we've got another eater of knowledge that is joining the fray. Uh, as you see him come through the the curtain there, Lorimar, clicking and groaning away, uh, he does attack you with a scimitar. He is actually wielding a scimitar. Alright, and that is a 24 versus armor class. That's going to be that close. That would be a hit. Is it a hit? Oh, wow. All right, so you're going to go ahead and take you're going to take uh, 14 psychic damage, and you are marked 
uh, until the end of the eater's next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mark symbol on you, which is this. And what that does is it basically gives you a minus two to attack if you attack anything else but him. So it's sort of like a taunt. So, all right. Uh, so you'll be marked, and you also will take damage if, you, and like I was saying, you'll you'll take more psychic damage if you don't attack him. So, although you really aren't supposed to know that, but I haven't played in a while, so I'm, I'm rusty on uh, Pyramid of Shadows, and I apologize. Arvaldir, you are up, sir. All right. Uh, oh, oh, 24. Uh, yeah, you 14 damage. Okay, you're good to go. You're up, Arvaldir. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm rusty on 4E, guys. Sloppy tonight. Sloppy. Hello, right here. It's been a month since we've played this game. Eater. Very nasty eater. Attacking. Uh, 19 versus armor class is hit. On the eater is definitely a hit. Yeah. Alright, 11 damage. Yep. Yeah. This eater goes down. Sweet. Whoa, look at that big old death X. There you go. Eater 1 oh, is down. Token. You guys are no longer immobilized as well. Your immobilized effect uh, dissipates from you. You are no longer immobilized. Yeah. How you like that, Vey? <laughs> <laughs> Son never got around to uh, showing me how to do that, so I may have to bug you, Vey. I uh, keep telling you that that's how we do it. I know. We'll have to. We'll have to make that a date. So, Arvaldir, uh, you're done, sir. Or are you gonna go ahead? And, no, uh, I'm gonna move. Uh, I thought you were gonna just hold your action and kind of pass. And go smoke a pipe in the corner or something. Okay. That is my move. No attack or anything like that? Done? Mm, nope. Alright, Vey, what are you doing? I know you're wanting to combine attack that beast, but unfortunately, nope, it can't. perished. Mm. Thank you guys so much for, for hanging out and uh, watching tonight. Well. We were playing 4th Edition Essentials. Right here. Great game. Give it a chance, I guys. 4th Edition, give I've it a chance. I've noticed this guy charging up something over here, but I'm not very sure what he's doing. I think the more immediate threat is the Mind Eater. Eater okay. of Knowledge, sorry. Okay. We're going to move here. Boris is going to move here and get on the bed. Okay. And I guess I'm going to smack this guy here. Alright. You gonna smack uh, him with your staff? I'm going to use a daily. Oops. Back him. Shalele! Who needs help? No one. I don't think. Maybe Lormar? Also, you guys make sure... Uh, yeah, Lormar, well, thank you guys. You for, thank you to the moderators. You guys are, are so awesome. Uh, yeah, sure. 19 versus, uh, oop, my bad. Sorry, it was Arvel Deer's roll. Thank you guys uh, for no. <laughs> moderating. I'm going I to use Lifeblood Harvest. Ooh, that's your nice new skill. Yes, it is. I've been waiting to use this. Now that I remember. Also, Gimlet Grim, I got your uh, your fourth edition Neverwinter campaign yeah. booklet wrapped up and uh, sent to you I today. Did a 20 hit. Oh, a 20 definitely hits that eater. All right, awesome. All right, so that's three weapon damage. Ooh. <laughs> Roll a one. Wow. All right, so that's 21, 21 points, and someone gets uh, a healing search. A free healing search. Wow. All right, so you notice uh, you crushed him on the side of his head, and you notice that he is in a bloodied status. One shot. All right. Bloodied status. Fourth edition hit points, guys. They're like cut in half now. But like I said, I I raised the the damage big time. So. Oh well, that did have to use a daily though. Yeah. It's a nice hit. I did not sign the book, Miss Daria. I did not. He didn't say in his email he wanted it signed. And I guess that's it for me. I am not, I wouldn't why I don't I don't know why anybody would want it signed. I mean not trying to seem rude or nothing, but alright, Droopy, you're up. 
Did you see my private message, Dave, just before I go? I don't see any private messages. It's in the uh, roll twenty. Oh, uh, I I don't see it. Just above uh, Vay's uh, attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's actually not showing up on my other screen now. Mm. Sorry, I got to ask it because it will determine what I'm doing. Sorry guys, I had to send a tell. Nope. Oh, there you go, there's your answer. <laughs> As I botch the uh the tell. <laughs> As everybody don't watch uh don't look at Roll Twenty Chat, although you guys have already <laughs> have read it already. Read once. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is a pretty corny hat, guys, but whatever. It's pretty corny. It's pretty crazy, but... Uh. Oh, Sanders, there were over 100 last night and over 100, uh, 120, like 120 the night before that. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Crazy, the amount of people watching D&D. &D. This hillbilly stream from Florida coming at you live, guys. From Florida, playing some of that there Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, um, I'm gonna attack the Tiefling, but okay. I am going to. It's gonna be non-lethal, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit him with the side of my axe. All right. So what do you what are you wanting to do with that? I mean, well, I'm trying to knock him out because, yeah. I want to, you I think I know who this me. is. So, I want to knock him out and not kill him. Because I don't believe in some of the stuff he said, though, but not to make a game here, so. So, I'm going to use Valiant Strike. Yeah, this really hurts not having our mage here tonight. I mean, it, it really does. and I mean, I could have had a substitute come in, but... It doesn't matter because the substitute's not going to know what's been going on, the you know, for all of the other sessions before. So, and instead of canceling the game, I really wanted to play tonight because you guys haven't played in a month. So, you know, but I'll adjust things later. So, ooh, nice attack. Uh, that was only a four. Yeah, he meant nice for him. Cunning strike. Which that doesn't mess. make sense. Wait, what happened here? That macro looks uh, pretty crazy there. Yeah. 1d20 plus 10. I rolled a 4, so it should be 14 to hit. I'm gonna that's check a, the macro here. That's a mess. Okay. It's like, and he doesn't, uh, he really doesn't even pay any attention as well, Grook. Okay. Right. Druk. Oh, like Druk. Truck. Druk. It's like truck, but Druk. Like as in Mack truck, but yeah. Druk. All right. Well, you guys are you guys are in trouble. There's a green eater of knowledge that just appeared through the. Actually, he he had slung open the. The drapery as well. So I'm going to get rid of this damn drapery. So there you go. You can kind of, uh, you guys can see a inside. Well, Vey, Lormar, and Arvaldir. You can see sort of like a, uh, it's like a dome. A, sort of like a, like what the, on the handout. Let me, let me show you this handout again, guys. For the first time. This is the, the first time that I've actually shown you this. Uh, this is what you see as that door opens up. Uh, you can see that there's the, the nice drapery for your house there in the woods in this tree there, Vey. And you can see that there is a, uh, like a, a dome type of 
area in the middle of this room. There you go. Very nice. Seems like to be emanating a little light that's coming down from the dome. So the Eater of Knowledge, uh, he does move in. He climbs up on the table, loses some movement, which is no problem. And he attacks the Paladin. <laughs> the Paladin. The Paladin is being attacked. Uh, ooh. Uh, that is a 29 versus AC. That's a hit, I bet. So we're going to do some damage for you, Mr. Uh, Paladin. Okay. And you take 12 uh, psychic damage, and you are marked. Sure, okay. And that is it for the, the Eater. Uh, the Dead Eater is dead. He's out of the turn tracker. Dirt, you are up now. I think the moderators, you guys can do okay, high bidder. So I am going I think to the moderators can do that. Climb guys. up on top of the desk next to the green eater. It has to be the moderators, I think. And uh I'm going to attack him. Sixteen versus AC. Uh six sixteen versus AC is a miss on the eater. It's a it's not a bad miss, uh, but he does take a scimitar and, and, and parry your Parry your sword away. He can see the blood dripping from your sword, and he just doesn't want anything to do with that. Yeah. Anything else for you, Dirt? Action points? No. We're not burning action points yet. Okay. So, this, uh, this tiefling here in front of you conjures a sword. And this sword is like a very long scimitar, curved scimitar, and it is on fire. And it is it is shooting flames, dripping bits of, of like gas that's on fire, and he attacks the cleric. You break into my chambers, you will all die. As I roll a 74 versus... <laughs> I hit the wrong friggin' macro. Did I butcher I'm gonna that say that's a hit, Dave. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's probably it as well. Hmm. Actually, uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna have to give me some some opportunity attacks first, so. Uh, let's start with oh, they. Yeah, give me an opportunity attack. Lormar, give me an opportunity attack. And the Paladin, give me an opportunity attack. So all three of you get uh, attacks of opportunity. Because he is casting a, uh, a ranged item with his, uh, his sword. Alright, so they, your attack hits. Lormar, your attack hits. Wow, Druk, you crit. So, max damage, guys. What is your max damage? You guys may take this guy down in one hit. Fifteen. Uh, I didn't crit. No, but Druk did. But everybody hit, though. Oh, everyone gets max damage if one person crits? No. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just Druk gets max damage. Oh, okay. You said everybody. What's your max damage? Oh, I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't mean you that. You wish. Yeah. That would have been awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, mine's 13. Okay, 13 from Ve. Holy crap, nice. Okay. Alright, good night. Okay. Well, Bonbon's night night time? No, she's leaving to go to her uh, niece's house. Oh, okay. You know what I caught her doing earlier? She was lighting off a, a bottle rocket, holding it in her hand. <laughs> nice. Bon Bon, dude. Oh my god. Alright, so, Ve, you've done 13 damage. Lormar, you've done uh, 11 damage. You trying to confuse me with that point five? <laughs> now, 
Uh, Droopy, what That's have you window. done for damage? Druk has uh, done 15 points of damage. Max damage. Wow. He looks uh, pretty badly wounded. Uh, he doesn't appear to be in a bloodied status yet, but he is. Uh, he's. You've definitely caused a lot of damage to him. Uh, he grunts, moans, uh, but he does get his spell off, and his spell is a uh, lightning bolt. And the primary target is Lormar, and Lormar. This is a ranged attack, and here's the roll. All right, that's a th yeah, that's that's definitely hit a, a 33 versus reflex. So uh, you're gonna go ahead and take a. You're gonna take oh wow, bad rolls for me. 12 lightning damage, and the lightning arcs off. Uh, one arc is gonna hit Vey. One arc is going to hit Orville Deer. And let me see if the other arcs actually hit you guys. They'll take th 33 on Reflex, which is a hit. And Orville Deer. Twenty seven on reflex, which is probably a hit as well. Yep. Yep, yep. So you guys are gonna take both of you take seventeen damage apiece, so the lightning erupts coming out of his sword that is on fire and basically engulfs this whole fifteen foot area, and that's how much damage you guys take. Uh there's no other uh effects or anything like that, so all right, that's it for... Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to shift out as well. I'm going to shift back one. So, there you go. Anyone? Paladin? Oh, you already gave me an attack of opportunity. You can't mm -hmm. take another one. So. All right. Uh, Lormar, you're up. You said you shifted, so that yep. might be an attack of opportunity. Well, from your radiant, from your aura, it would be sure it would. Oh yes, it would. So you take uh, six. Well, so, radiant. let's see. You already got one attack of opportunity <laughs> on him, so you only get one in a round anyway. So. Wouldn't that? Uh, oh, it's opportunity action, so that one. Yeah. 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 Okay. One per round on anything. Thanks, Twitchy, for the follow. Okay. Not when did me. you unfollow, sir? Okay, I'm gonna do some burst on the bloodied eater. Okay, sounds like a winner. For a great 10 versus AC. That's definitely a miss. Sorry about that, Lormar. Okay, but everyone will get five temporary hit points. Ooh. Oh, nice. Remember what we were doing, guys. Just put like a blue yeah. circle with five. Because it's so much better than using the red circle or whatever a blue circle one you guys want to use. Oh, the you can do whatever one you want. I mean, you can do it red if you want. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> Everybody's changing colors. All right, so we have an eater of knowledge here. Uh, he is wielding a scimitar, and he does slash at Vey. Now, Vey, that is a 26 versus uh, armor class on you. Yeah, that hits. And that's 10 psychic damage, and you are uh, marked until next turn. Uh, Lormar, you are no longer marked, so you can take your mark off. Is they, that the net? You are now marked. Yep. Oh, okay. That's it. Dave, how do you do the red mark? I'm sorry, I forgot how. Uh, you, oh, you just put the red circle on there, and then hover your mouse over it, and just type the number you want. Just press the number you want. And you can only do a, a single-digit number as well, so... So just uh, as you have the... Uh, the little interface down there open with all the buttons. Just keep the, the little hand pointer for roll 20 on the red and just type 5. Oh, I was clicking it. There you go. Stuff like that. No, nah, you just gotta hover hover over I was doing the right procedure, but just in the wrong order. Nah, no problem. It's a, a pretty nice feature that a lot of people don't know about, so... It's actually one of those nice little hidden things in, in roll 20. Alright, so that's it for the Eater of Knowledge. Uh, Ve, you have taken your damage. Uh, if anybody's bloodied, just let me know as well. So, uh, and this this uh, eater of knowledge is gonna. Uh, now he's he's yeah he's gonna move back. 
All right, now, uh, Arvaldir, you're up now. Yes. You finally get to attack, huh? <laughs> I uh, activate my tactical trick, which allows me to move without provoking any. Oh yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. Opportunity. And that's your new skill me... as well, right? Yeah. Very and it nice. gives me combat advantage to any enemy that's adjacent to my allies. Very sweet. Which means moving up here. Ah, so there you go. Makes him prove combat advantage to me. Yep, and you can do your sneak attack damage as well. So don't I do the that. sneak backstab on him. Oof, that's gonna be good damage. That's gonna be. That's just not gonna be damage, Orville dear. That's gonna be van damage. <laughs> and the chicks love Van Damage. That's French for Van Dam, guys. Twenty nine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's definitely it. I mean, you just totally clobbered him. Holy shit! Oh. Yeah, uh, that was a. Was that a bad roll? Meh. Nah. One, a four, two fours, a three, and a two. You notice that this. Uh, this eater goes into a bloodied status. A, a huge o wound opens up as, on his arm as soon as you kind of, you know, teleport right in there, get a good slash in on him, and he pulls his arm back. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, that's it for me. Vey, that's uh, it for Orville Deer, so you're up, Vey. Alright, I'm going to. Nice op shift two open up. spots for you. Yep. I see a combined attack coming. You certainly do see one. And let's hope I roll good. I think you will, Vey. I believe that the the force is strong in you tonight. And Orange <laughs> Jesus is in your corner, flashing the towel on you between rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do a combo attack on the Eater. Okay. So get old Boris up there. Oh, only if I make the attack. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> I'm pretty. No, I'm sorry. That is a miss. Uh, a shield, <laughs> a, a turtle shell type of shield forms around him. Uh, that's yeah. You clobbered the shit out of him. This this guy's pretty much. This guy's toast. I bet. I hope he is. <laughs> yeah, uh, you hit him good. And then Boris comes up, jumps up on him, and basically rips his throat out. Blood spraying everywhere. Gets on the tiefling, gets on Boris. A little bit gets on you as well, Vey. Twitches for a couple seconds, and, and then it falls. Is Boris lifeless. ripping out throats again? Yeah, he is. Boris is, Boris is doing some damage, too. Everything right, is can good. I ask you a question? Yes. If, Boris jumped, if Boris jumped on him and smashed him down as he was going down, can he occupy his butt? Uh, no, nah, it's just graphic. I'm just trying to be more descriptive on, on what happens. But I see where you're coming from, but no, nah, Boris is still there. Alright, that's cool. Now, I, I want to use my action point. Yeah, he, he jumps on the square, and then he kind of reposts back and ends his, ends his attack where he's at now. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, sorry. Ooh, action point. I like it. I gotta check something first. Yeah, so fourth edition, you guys will notice right. in fourth edition there's we'll a lot of action points. Point and do combo strike again on the tiefling. I don't think you're really supposed to use the same power twice, unless it specifically says you can. Yeah, there's. I, I've noticed that some they say that you can't use two per round. Yeah. But a combo attack isn't one of those. Sounds good. Yeah, sure. What the hell? You can use yeah, that like again. healing word. I can't. I can't use twice per encounter, or gotcha, or yeah. per round. But uh, okay, so I'm going to do that then. Ooh, Jagermeister. Ew, that stuff is ruthless, Ralph Elling. I I can't do that stuff. And there we are. It has too much of a uh, licorice I'm back to taste. The good rules. <laughs> uh, that's a miss. Sorry. Oh yeah, I knew that was a miss. All right. All right, Drippy, you're up. Jesus. <laughs> Every round, it's a different name, isn't it? Yeah, I know, that's all right. Drip, I, I'm sorry. I, I need a clarification on my own. Spell my skills here. Sure. Where I did. Which one? 
Let's see. Defend, defend the aura. Okay. Let's take a look at that bad boy. The one that's confusing me is uh, 